three-year-old son and nine-year-old stepdaughter. Just this past Monday, we celebrated her getting my son to sleep successfully, which is not an easy feat for me, let alone her. And we have a nice little celebration for that. And uh, after Day of Champions, we, my vice president, and I, vice president and I went back to her house and had one of our typical little talks before they left. This little girl was one of the most beautiful girls inside and out. And there aren't many 13 year olds who uh, already have three different jobs on the go. So outside of babysitting for me, she was one of our favorite referees for soccer. And she had recently started dishwashing at the Portuguese club as well. Uh, she was one of the hardest working, fierce, loving people I've ever met. She loved her family endlessly. She was a person who you could always count on. And her kids were proof of the loving family unit they were, despite the tragedy surrounding their deaths. There are truly no words to describe the impact that this is going to have on those of us who were privileged enough to know them and love them. Thank you for your time and honoring their memories. And I ask that we continue to do so in respecting everyone who has lost a loved one in this tragedy. Remember who this is about. This is about honoring a beautiful family as well as supporting a community that has been leveled to the ground by this tragedy. There are no words to say that can describe this tragedy to make anyone feel better. We are all feeling sad, angry, numb, and confused. How do we make sense of all of this? Why is life so unfair sometimes? And how does one even process such news and be okay? Saying these words out loud doesn't even make anything better because this is real life and we're allowed to be broken. But feeling as we feel right now, I stand here and I am witnessing something that is so unbelievably magical, beautiful, and incredibly strong. The love and support of the entire community is extremely empowering and overwhelming. I want to start by saying it's good to be here and it's terrible to be here same time. We come here with broken hearts. We feel vulnerable and helpless. And we feel really, really sad. Actually, we don't always know what, what we're supposed to feel. You may wish, like me, that we didn't have to be here. That Carly and Steve and Hunter and Maddie didn't die. We wish things were different. We may try to make sense of something that makes no we have questions and I so wish I had answers. I wish there were magic words that I could say that would take away all the confusion and the pain and the loss. The only thing that could do that would be if this terrible thing just doesn't happen. In the midst of chaos, things that aren't supposed to happen, happen. We do what we can do. We do this. We gather together. Some of us will cry openly. Others will hold it in. But they feel it. When the worst things happen, worse than we can possibly imagine, when those things happen, we have to encourage each other to be our best selves. And it's that presence of one another that we find strength. The person of faith who experienced God through that presence. And I'm going to invite us now for a moment to just stand in silence. If you need to hold a hand or embrace. The citizens of Harrow and the county and Kingsville and all of those that are here, thank you for being here. The support extended to the immediate family is really appreciated. The weeks ahead are going to be extremely difficult. One additional thing I want to mention, and that is coming from a placing background, I want to acknowledge and thank what other officers are going through as they process these scenes. It's a difficult job and my heart goes out to them because every day when they're finished it's a very difficult job for them. Out of everything that you could have done, coming here today to just mourn, appreciate, and think about the things that it's done for the community is one of the greatest. I am the daughter of Lindsay DePano. Uh, she came up here to do a speech a few minutes ago. She, she's one of the strongest people I know. And losing a best friend, losing a relative, losing anybody could be hard for all of us. 
Would you hold my hand If I saw you in heaven Would you help me stand If I saw you in heaven I'll find my way Through night and day Cause I know I just can't stay Here 